Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be an advanced lightning tutorial for the Corsair K95. And uh, the rest of the video is going to be recorded on screen as the screen gives a one-to-one -one representation of how the keyboard looks. Uh, but I'll throw some snippets in of how it actually appears uh, as you go along and apply more uh, effects and filters and whatnot. So uh, without further ado, here it is. So here I have the keyboard. Nothing's enabled uh, just yet. Um, so this is the basic lighting that it comes with. There's a lot of cool things it comes with. So you'll find something great uh, as you go along. I normally just have it as this, uh, plain white. Just so I have a neutral color and it'll fit pretty much anything. So now I'll enable that just, just to show it off in the video. And uh, so what you wanna do, you're gonna wanna, once you get the keyboard, go uh, download the software off the site. And after you download it, there should be something kind of here at the bottom middle or bottom right of the screen for uh, inside the software. And it will have a icon to update the software. This will unlock a lot more of the uh, included lighting schemes. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you want something that's customized, uh, you can customize all these as well. You can definitely customize all of them. Uh, like the speed, um, the, I mean, you could change the direction of that. It makes a huge difference there. But a lot of them have their own uh, customizations and then you can also change like color such as this so don't fret you don't have to make like you, you can edit all these things there's a lot in the basics that do the greatest things for you but if you want to have a customized uh, personalized lighting scheme then you can go to the top and click advanced so when you click advanced uh, you'll notice you can drag and drop over the keyboard, uh, like a rectangle will appear, just like if you're on your desktop. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is click the plus sign here for create lighting effects. And as you can see, now it will have light appear in every key that you select, but it will not select more after you select some and then you select another group. So uh, to select multiple, because you don't, say you wanna have your number pad light up, and you also want these keys over here, but you don't want every key in between. Uh, so you can't exactly select all of them. So what you're gonna wanna do is select what you want and then pull down control. And now you can select maybe like your gaming keys. And there you have it. And uh, why not some of these here. So now you have kind of the keys that you want selected. And you can change the color whatever you want. Don't forget, you can also change the amount of light produced by them. So say you want red, but you don't want it to be too bright, then you can change it. Or say you actually have, add multiple colors. So yeah, you have red here, and then you have white. And uh, you can change how they are layered on top of each other, which takes more precedence by dragging and dropping. But see here, like now the white's kind of gonna get washed out overall if you uh, have it layered like this. So you may want to turn down the white sum, and that way you still have it vaguely backlit, but now it's kind of a cool, uh, kind of a, a small amount of light uh, coming through. So it's kind of a gray slash low white color, but you have a bright red behind it or uh, on other keys. So you can still have what you, like the overall. And uh, don't forget you can also color the Corsair logo by uh, selecting these. So you can have the Corsair lit up if you select the light bar up top here. Um, so whatever, you can do a lot. But let's say you want to personalize it for your game. Now for games like League of Legends where you choose a lot of different champions, you probably don't uh, have a lot of freedom here because it changes so much. But say you're playing a game uh, maybe a single player game or even an MMO, like World of Warcraft or something, uh, and maybe you're using a healing spell. So what you could do is green is kind of kind of like a, the icon or the color scheme for a lot of healing uh, properties in games. It kind of represents that a lot of the time. So you could say maybe five is your healing spell. You can select five and now it's marked. And yeah, you should know that off the top of your head if you play the game, but it'll also help other people jump in as well. And I uh, just give a reminder, and it's also just a cool wow factor. But, uh, 
You can also, for instance, um, instead of red, because red kind of means something on the lines of uh, a lot of the time it means more about attacking or doing damage. So what we could do is have these lit up more than the others to be more of a neutral thing because you're trying to have scheme, like a color scheme for uh, several different types of attacks. So now you can have those lit up more so you can recognize them quicker and you can have different levels across all of them. And uh, that way you have them all backlit but you still have the ones that are more important lit up. So uh, now you can have these as like your attack buttons. Um, say, uh, I mean in League of Legends you always use the same summon icons just about. And uh, you know you use, uh, I don't remember, uh, you could use a flash. So say it's assigned to F, I mean <laughs> there you go, it's always marked to flash. And cool, I mean it's also F, stands for flash, now it's Gale. Just like the flash icon. Uh, and ignite. You can also do ignite for G, something like that. So you get the idea. You can customize it individually, and uh, you can also change a couple things in between. So I mean, you could also you could still have uh, the background uh, go in between different lighting. So you can select a bunch of different ones and keep it going. Just keep selecting. So you can customize a lot in between. And say you want it to stay put on something else for longer. I mean, say you uh, really like red, but you want to have a cool little flicker here and there. There you go. You can adjust the numbers in between. And now it's going to have different intervals and do a lot of different things. So you can do a lot of different customization. Uh, you can make it wave in the background. And this is another way you can make it pulsate. So just change the uh, brightness from the other one. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> so you can have a gradient. And uh, if you just want to have it pulse in between, you know, you think it's cool, then adjust the different colors. So I'm going to make this one pretty much black. And then because I don't want them all to be so well lit, I'll, I'll do it like this. So that way it's kind of breathing. And so when you're not actually, when you're pretty much just watching, then you can uh, freely adjust it here and there. And you get the idea. So you can also uh, drag it like this to increase the, uh, to change the opacity, which is how, uh, how much it fades away the entire color. So you don't have to do it this way either. That's just a habit. And uh, you pretty much get the idea. That's basically what it is. Um, it's up to your imagination. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. It's basically like Microsoft Paint, but with the keys on your keyboard and using these tools provided and experimenting and your imagination to get what you want. All right, guys. So before I let you go, I just wanted to give you a quick look at my room and some things to expect. Uh, and in my closet, you can see it's very full and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of just about all these things, so stay tuned. I've got two Fantex cases down below. And uh, I've got a lot of things, uh, motherboard, processor, RAM, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in an unboxing of any of these things, stay tuned. I've got a lot coming. And uh, there's a few more things in the mail. I have swapped out a lot of things for this build to make it happen. And it's going to be an awesome black and metal color scheme. Uh, with a little bit of silver. It's going to be an awesome $2,500 build, so stay tuned if you want to see any of that. And uh, leave a like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a good day.